What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm trying to be quiet because it's very, very late. It's 2.30 in the morning and I'm actually having my second meal. Uh, sorry I didn't post a video yesterday. It's just been kind of crazy today as well. And when I don't sleep, I just get exhausted throughout the day and I don't get work done. And the reason I'm not sleeping is because I've been spending too much time like on my phone at the warehouse in these high Wi-Fi environments, which completely just mess up my sleep schedule. Even if I'm sleeping in a bed canopy in a low Wi-Fi environment, if I was exposed to a lot of it throughout the day, I just don't sleep well. And that's how it's been for like the past two weeks. And it kind of caught up to me over these past two days. And I'm going to show you guys what I eat when I literally have zero prep time. And I mean, part of the problem is likely that I'm eating this food, which is giving me less energy as a result of it. And I know it's not perfect by any means, but it's decent. So very simply, we're having a steak sandwich with some potato chips and banana bread as dessert. And some of you guys mention in my comments all the time that I'm able to eat these meals because of the water kefir, and you're absolutely right. Um, if I wasn't having the water kefir, these meals would not digest nearly as well, although I've been okay sometimes. Definitely can't eat like this consistently. So I have a sirloin steak from Frankie's Range Meat that I seared earlier. We have bread alone, sourdough bread. I'm going to put uh, just a little mustard on the bread. I have uh, these potato chips, which are my favorite because they're really, really, really crunchy. Now, last week for dessert, I was having some grapes, which I really like. But uh, over the weekend, I made some banana bread. And I was going to show you guys this recipe, but I didn't want to do it without testing to see if it was good first. And I like this. You know, when I was eating the bananas, I was breaking out a lot. But with this... I haven't really gotten any acne yet, and it's, it's been a couple days now. But we'll show you guys that recipe on Saturday. So I'm just going to get everything together here, and then we'll sit down and eat. So just the sandwich here, guys, with the potato chips. And you know, organic seed oils are still inflammatory, but compared to the context of like the standard American diet with all those toxins, you know, if everything else in your diet is completely good, it's not a huge deal if you're having you know, some potato chips or like some peanut butter on occasion, even on an almost daily basis. So we have you know, plenty of B vitamins, animal protein, cholesterol, choline, everything we need with the steak. The bread is just carbohydrates, really feed the gut bacteria, higher volume food for motility, the mustard, I just like the flavor, and potato chips, just more carbohydrates and um, more caloric density energy. The water kefir is a lot of B vitamins, a lot of probiotics, plenty of minerals, really kind of ties this meal together and makes it uh, Easy, way easier on the stomach, way easier to digest. I mean, hopefully we get some better luck in a year or two and I'm making all the prepared meat products on Frankie's range meat like roast beef, pastrami. I mean, I really wanted to do cold cuts because you can't get them anywhere. I mean, like you guys really think I want to be dicing up steak and putting it on bread. No, I'd rather have something that's been you know prepared like it's meant to be eaten in a sandwich. It tastes a lot better and it's a lot easier too. So I think I've explained this before, but I'll, I'll try to put it as simply as possible. Whenever you have liver problems or any sort of toxins in your body, candida overgrows and becomes protective. Yeah, the side effects of candida overgrowth are negative, but the reason it's overgrowing is because it's trying to pull toxins out of your liver, out of your digestive system, and be excreted from the body. Now, if you're able to find a balance of carbs, fiber, protein, fats, plus the correct probiotics, you'll be able to keep the candida in check and expel the toxins. That's why a lot of people go carnivore and they feel better at first and they're just masking, masking, masking symptoms and then three, four, five, six years down the line, they're in a scenario where it's gonna take them years as opposed to months to fix their health. So I kind of feel like grapes right now uh, and you guys will see the banana bread recipe on Saturday anyway, so uh, we'll talk about it then. Now, from a sugar profile perspective, grapes and bananas have uh, some of the best ratios of fructose to glucose, but uh, bananas have a very high amount of anti-nutrients, and grapes aren't nearly as bad. Well, that's it, guys. This is what I eat when I have minimal prep time available, just, you know, five minutes to sear a steak, throw it on some bread, have the potato chips, don't have to make rice, don't have to make beans, cook pasta, not, very, 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 very minimal. And if I could buy something from the grocery store to replace the steak, I probably would. 
Uh, but again, this isn't something that I, I would like to be doing. This is just with the time constraints. So I'll probably be back to like the pasta, bread meal, and ideally I'll try the just the cleaner, the steak, the rice, the beans. But as I said the last time I had that, it's just not calorically dense enough. So uh, you guys can get the sirloin steak on frankiesfreerangemeat.com and the alcoholic probiotic water kefir, which will make you feel good and a little bit loopy on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. You guys better snatch this up before I fix it and stop making it alcoholic. So um, you guys can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. I don't remember exactly what I said, so I'm not sure if I'm thanking you for the first time or second time. But either way, thank you guys for joining me. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm fucking losing it. Thank <laughs> you.